हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल टुडे वी आर अप विद वन मोर लर्निंग वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी वुड शेयर पावर ऑफ मूविंग एवरेजेस सो व्हाई आर मूविंग एवरेजेस ऑफ अटमोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंस एंड व्हाट सिग्निफिकेंट डिफरेंस इट मेक्स इन योर ट्रेडिंग व्हेन यू हैव मूविंग एवरेजेस ऑन योर चार्ट वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल दीज एस्पेक्ट्स इन दिस वीडियो सो द कंटेंट्स व्हिच वुड बी कवरिंग इन दिस वीडियो आर व्हाट आर मूविंग एवरेजेस एंड हाउ मूविंग एवरेजेस आर कैलकुलेटेड what is the significance of having moving average on your charts which moving averages are best for nifty and bank nifty and the most important thing is when to use moving averages for trading that is we are going to discuss setups for trading using moving averages and the next comes is how to take entries while trading with moving averages so one more thing i felt of sharing with you all is that to become a successful trader first and foremost thing is having understanding of markets in depth how markets work why the candlestick patterns or why the charting patterns form as they are this form has never been changed in past 100 years or past 200 years and it will never change in coming years because market is governed by human emotions and human emotions never change human emotions are greed of having more profits fear of missing out an opportunity fear of losing what you have earned these are the things which govern market and having a good setup would help you conquer greed and fear you could check out my video on trading psychology which i have mentioned in the description below one more thing which i would want to share with you is that in stock market every indicator every pattern and everything works but nothing works for 100% hence you must remember while you are trading none of the patterns none of the indicators you need to build a system which would be profitable manage your risk reward ratio have money management principles at the back of your mind and consistently stick to one system if you follow one system for one day another system for another day you would end up losing all of your trading capital if you consistently follow one system and the risk and the money management principles then one fine day for sure you would become a successful trader we are here to help you in building that one successful system for trading so i'll move on to our today's topic which is moving averages a moving average combines price points of an instrument over a specified time frame and divides it by total number of data points meaning a simply computed moving average is taking a mean over the values of your interest of candlesticks for a specified period of time the value of interest for a given candlestick could be its open high low or close or any combination of these four values for example open plus low plus high plus close divided by 4 now this is a simple moving average but moving averages can be either of weighted exponential double exponential or hull but the fundamental of computing the moving averages remains the same in weighted moving average the recent price is weighted more as compared to the price one time step before it similarly in exponential weighted moving average the weights are given according to exponential function So what's so special about moving averages and what is its significance moving average is a technical analysis tool which helps you to filter out random fluctuations in price which are also termed as noise they also help you to identify whether market is trending or is in a trading range if moving average is flat then you can consider that the market is in trading range whereas when moving average has a gradually increasing or decreasing slope you can state that market is in trending phase so it helps you to determine whether the market is trending or is in a trading range by simply tweaking the time period of moving average you could have a short term as well as long term view one key point about moving average here is to note that it is trend following or a trading range following hence as the name itself suggests it is implied that this indicator is lagging because the computation of value of moving average is based upon past prices corresponding to the time period which you have set in this moving average especially when trading nifty and bank nifty 20 time period exponential moving average becomes of crucial importance as it acts as a dynamic level of support and resistance so what's so significant about 20 as the time step so it is widely used moving average and hence 
most of the big players and market participants have 20 day exponential moving average on their chart and hence it becomes a dynamic level for support or resistance. Many profitable trades as well as scalps are generated based on only 20 EMA. One most important point for you to note is that moving averages are dependent on time frame you select and in this case for nifty and bank nifty especially we prefer using 5 minute time frame and 20 day exponential moving average. So when and how to trade using 20 EMA in nifty and bank nifty. So 20 EMA generates excellent trades when the day is trending or when 20 EMA line is moderately sloping if there is a good rejection after the test of 20 day moving average in nifty or bank nifty and one word of caution is avoid using moving averages when they are flat especially those days have sideways price action and hence moving averages are flat. On such days you could do scalping and link has been given in the description below of a video based on how to take scalping trades. So let's consider a live example of how to trade 20 day exponential moving averages. And this is the chart of 4th May of Bank Nifty. Right from starting there was a considerable fall in Bank Nifty and it retraced and tested 20 day moving average and there was a strong rejection from 20 day moving average and in first case at around 12 pm there was a bearish engulfing pattern formed and hence was a signal of sell off from 20 day moving average and a trade was generated. If you in case miss that opportunity there was one more opportunity before one on the same day where you can see again there was rejection in the levels of nifty from 20 day moving average. In fact not only there were two chances but there was a third opportunity at around 130 where you can see how strongly there was rejection from 20 day moving average and you could notice the length of the wick of the green candle formed and immediate next candle was a red candle and then came a huge sell off. Around the range of 20 EMA level if there is a reversal then you can most probably trade it. So similar case was on 5th May when price came down and retraced up till 20 EMA level it faced rejections and hence a profitable scalp or a profitable trade even was generated. The things which you look for when price approaches 20 EMA is a reversal candle and also the 20 day EMA should not be flat it must be gently or moderately sloping. Let's have a look at one more example. You can see this is bank nifty chart and this is the chart of 28th, 29th and 30th April. So you can see nifty is in continuous uptrend and 20 day EMA is moderately sloping. So whenever the price came and tested and formed a reversal at 20 day EMA there was a trade being generated. You can see many trades generated on 29th, 28th providing you with multiple opportunities to enter trades. So being precise you can see on 29th at around 11 pm how strong was the reversal formation at 20 day moving average. This shows that there is clear rejection of prices and there are active buyers present around 20 EMA level and they, are, they responsibly took price to higher levels. When it again retraced back to 20 EMA levels again there was initiative buying and again prices went up. Again when it came back around 20 EMA level at 1 pm the initiative buying again happened and the price made higher highs continuously. But I would suggest you one word of caution that any support or resistance when it get test multiple times it becomes weak. So there would be strong rejections from 20 day moving average 2, 3 or at most 4 times. But when again it comes and test that level it's most likely to penetrate that level and trade below it. Let's have a look at an example when not to trade using 20 day moving average. You can see in this chart that there was pure sideways movement and 20 day moving average was almost flat and hence no possible trade was generated. Following are the key takeaways for trading 20 day moving average for you from this video. Take trades based on 20 day moving average when it is a trending day. You can take trades on 20 moving average when it's mod moderately sloping. Third look for a good rejection candle from 20 day EMA and it must be either first, second or third entry. 
you would avoid taking entries beyond three tests of moving average and avoid trading moving averages when the day is showing completely sideways price action or either moving average is completely flat so thank you friends for your patience watching the complete video you could check out my daily analysis of nifty and bank nifty on my twitter handle of which the link is given in the description below